what's good y'all it's your good sis erica vain back again with another new series alert i am so excited for this series to hit the channel y'all i have to talk about one of my favorite series of all time being mary jane let's get into it all right so the episode one of being mary jane was actually a television film that premiered in 2013 i believe because i actually received the preview for when i was at the bet awards covering it and that was initial pilot that was out to try to get it picked up and then immediately it had rave reviews and was picked up to series so the formatting for this even though it is an hour-long show the format is a little bit different so the original pilot that came out was a film and the pilot that we see now which being Mary Jane is currently streaming on Hulu if you want to catch up with it um you can go and stream it on Hulu it's just a little bit different so I am watching the Hulu version not the original um pilot film and being Mary Jane is special to me well Mara Brock Akil and pretty much everything that she creates is special to me I think that that woman was put on this earth to tell black women's stories from a place of deep understanding grit vulnerability and love and we love to see it oh my god we love to see it mary jane is a rising on-air newscaster who has been able to navigate the perils of coming up in media being a black woman an unmarried black woman approaching 40 and finding success in her career after a few setbacks after a few trials while still finding or being unfulfilled in life <sighs> ciao when I tell you that being Mary Jane speaks to me, it really, really speaks to me. At the start of the episode, we see her engaging with a lover who shows up to her house drunk. And this is Andre and they have a very sensual, sexual moment and child, all of it we love to see. Mary Jane's, even though her romantic life is kind of crazy, her sex life is lit and I kind of wish I had it. I'm going to be honest with you. Sis be, be doing her thing. But let me try to stay in the moment of this episode. We quickly find out that this dude is not all that he appears to be though he's fine and muscular and able to put it down he is also very much so married married and how do we find out oh we step on the ring because you know he got sick because he came to my house drunk acting a fool being all lustful and you know we just ripped each other clothes off all carnage like and now his ring was probably in the pocket and it fell out so now while i'm picking up the stuff i step on the ring while i'm trying to get you something to settle your stomach sir get on get on in the most iconic fashion she throws him out and then soaks him down with the water hose get the hell on sir and then in most iconic line of you ain't got to go home but you gotta get out of here she says there's a tree down the street why don't you hit it i ain't mad at her I see nothing wrong yet. And after we see this unraveling and this emotional moment with Mary Jane and the disappointment that she feels, the loss that she feels after realizing that this guy that she really seems to be into is not hers, could not be hers because he belongs to someone else. We also start to see more things to let us know who she is as a character. So we get the close-ups of the post-it notes with her affirmational messages. We get to see her struggle with getting dressed. So we realize how alone she feels and how self-sufficient she has to be and there's so many beautiful moments of like vulnerability and need and loneliness but also coupled with like her strutting through her own house when she has her heels on and she's ready to go to work and she kind of has to switch of like okay well now it's time to be a boss bee you know she's driving her Porsche she's on the way to her high profile job and even though her heart is broken she about to handle business in a little bit of suspense we actually see her as she's driving into work and and there's actually a car accident and she thinks that it's him but it's not and this is the first beat that we actually get to register who mary jane is out in the world because she's recognized she's spotted because she's kind of like local famous and the guy who was in an accident actually wanted to take a photo with her we also get more characterization of mary jane early on because she has to call with her mom who's getting on her nerves stressing her out she's running late she gets into a meeting and they're just wrapping up and she learns that the story that she wanted to pitch the one that she really wants to do didn't necessarily get pitched but she has to do a story that 
it's not worthwhile for her it's not something that she's really really into and this is when we actually also meet her producer Cara Lynch and I love them as a duo as we go throughout the series Cara is a Latina who is hustling making her way climbing her way up the ladder and these two as women of color really have to navigate this very white network as you would expect but they have each other's backs for the most part that's something that gets exposed in this episode and and the tension comes out and it kind of gets it comes into question of if they actually have each other's back and how they're actually climbing and some of the decisions that they're making and I think that this is great to see I love the super nuanced beautiful emotional beats so like we see Mary Jane after she gets off the phone with her mom she has an emotional moment where she's about to cry and she pinches herself so that she doesn't cry so she could pull it together and then we get to see her going to get on air and how in that instant she snapped back she's with it she's on top of it and she's about to handle business and this is why she gets paid the big bucks and why she is Mary Jane Paul honey after she's off work we see her head to her parents house for her mom's birthday and then we get the layers of all the things that are starting to complicate her life. So in addition to her having a struggle in love and romance with what we saw with Andre at the start of the episode, we can see the dysfunction that's happening within her family. Her mother relies on her. Her dad is unhappy. Her mom is sick. Her brother is still struggling. Got the baby mama around. That's not actually helping out. There's all these kids in the house. Not enough people are supporting them. At some point, Mary Jane actually says that there's so many kids in this house and not enough people feeding them. And with these scenes, with her being at the birthday party as well as her going to go pick up her younger brother we can see how dependent everyone is on her for stability and then throughout the episode we can see how this weighs in on her life and how her life is already a mess she already is struggling and she kind of like takes on the struggles of others that she loves and deeply cares about which doesn't help anything I love 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 how PJ her younger brother like speaks life over her and how amazing she is and how she just needs to realize that she's the baddest chick and all of that it's a very very cute moment now in the moment where Mary Jane goes in to confront Nisi about being pregnant again and she has the comments about not enough people in the house feeding the kids she definitely goes off the handle and it feels a bit like it's too much like she's coming in hot but I think that these are very very important moments because it tells us what she's capable of how she really feels and what we can expect with her moving forward and that she's also not a passive person per se within her her struggle she actively has a voice of like this is not okay and y'all are going to need me to actually be able to help you in this yet another thing now the episode gets really real when Mary Jane is doing a little bit of retail therapy later on at one of her favorite shoe stores it's right at closing time but who pops up Andre and his wife yes his wife w-i-f-e sir really Gabrielle played the scene down like even her staring them down walking away oh my god I felt every second of that moment like are you kidding me right now this pile is so beautiful because it really did a great job of showing Mary Jane's ambition strength power and intellect but also her loneliness her sadness some of her insecurities her borderline depression that will be coming like it just showed the duality of getting some of the things that you want in life but not necessarily having a full life or the like the full life that you anticipate yourself having or want yourself to have i love how they use mary jane's segments or the segments on the new channel period just to also have conversations as well and the major segment of this episode was a segment about a woman stealing sperm and how this is becoming an epidemic that she interviewed people from sperm banks but ultimately she's talking with the person who wrote a book about taking the sperm the husband took seven years of her life and she took the sperm and this is a call to a decision that Mary Jane makes later on which speaks to one of her key motivations that she wants a family of her own we see those beats pop up as we go along in the episode but she ultimately steals David's sperm later on and once we arrive at the end of the episode and we see her do that I'm like oh I am all the way in all the way in like what she just stole the sperm from him and is going to save it for later can we do that should we do that are we doing that go ahead and judge me y'all because when I first watched it that was definitely something that was on my mind it brought up a very interesting conversation around ambitious women who are struggling in love and David is what we come to learn as like 
the guy that was supposed to be and we don't learn this in the first episode but as we go throughout the series so a quick pop-out moment we learn that they were very very serious and she he is the guy that would have been the father of her kids but they didn't work out in the way that they should have when they were together and we'll learn about that more as I go through the rest of the breakdowns for other episodes something to be said about taking the sperm of this person who you would have had kids with anyway if y'all could have figured it out and done certain things and saving it for when you need it because you're not necessarily in a relationship and I know this is good y'all don't light me up too much because when I saw this I just started to think about like I'm not out here stealing nobody's sperm myself but I will tell you that there was one guy that I was just like hmm if all else fails if I don't necessarily it beats going to a sperm bank right I don't know it was definitely a thought process when this first came out so I'm gonna be honest with y'all that's one thing that your good sis is always going to do is be honest now when the episode rises to another notch is when we see Mary Jane actually address his wife she sees Andre's wife go into a pet store so she pulls over after taking Nisa to the doctors and decides to go in there and tell her she confesses everything and she thinks she's doing it by way of solidarity and like look this is what it is sis and ultimately she dismisses her with the quickness and in the most gut punch type of way and I felt that too Mary Jane child I feel you sis I thought that Avery would have turned around and not necessarily been happy that she told her but I don't know when I first watched this I wasn't expecting her to respond the way that she did but I, I can I can understand it like I can feel like if the mistress is coming up to you and saying something but Mary Jane wasn't coming to her like oh this is my man now or anything like that but even still part of it is like her feeling embarrassed it's in a public place you don't know this girl and she was just gushing about knowing Mary Jane and loving her and all of that kind of stuff so I get it that awkward moment to me was like one of the pinnacles of the actual episode and we see Mary Jane continue to struggle and ultimately start to emotionally spiral one of the most down moments that we see is when she's watching tv and she sees the baby um and she starts to cry because she's thinking about her life she's making a cake for the baby shower for Nisi she is reflecting on you know the conversation with Avery and the mess of what today is I love 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 her friendship with Mark because in the moment that she needs it most she has this black man to pour into her to speak life over her to love on her and basically help her through this moment of feeling lost and uber insecure and kind of hopeless when it comes to uh, where her life is with love and family. And come to find out that Mark is actually gay. So this is also a truly safe space. We don't have to worry about this guy potentially becoming uh, one of another set of men that Mary Jane is cycling through in the series. I love Mark as a character in support of Mary Jane because we definitely need it. Now the episode starts to take a turn and we get more intrigue when we see David's character pops up and Mary Jane is having a conversation with him on Facebook while she's doing the research around the story that she really wants to tell and that story is the story around black women dark-skinned women and why the society views them as ugly and how society completely ignores them and they are basically unseen it's the authenticity of this episode for me because we see Mary Jane talk to him and this is the ex right this is the one that she was trying to avoid wasn't answering phone calls from but now that she's at the place that she's at this part of the episode and feeling down and feeling a little insecure she decides to engage and go and meet him so we see her actually pull together a little look a little cute look still a little shoes from a co-worker while because she's at work and then she makes sure that she masturbates before going on this date y'all like can we just talk about how Mara gets it right come on it's the detail and the nuance of the writing for me and I have just such a proud moment when we see Mary Jane outside the diner and she actually calls David and instead of going in she's like look if we're gonna do beauty calls if we're gonna do this and let's call a spade a spade and let's do that let's have consensual booty calls whatever but if we're gonna date then it needs to be some kind of notice there needs to be a call there needs to be something and I'm like that's right girl stand up for your Yourself because we understand like you in a rough place but you're still so valuable so amazing and in this moment I feel like she was able to recover a little bit of some of the confidence that she was losing throughout the episode and then we also see this when she caves and she starts to give the money to her brother at the baby shower she also has a moment where she has to actually apologize to her housekeeper because the housekeeper found the used condom 
while cleaning her house it's again it's a nuance for me and i think that us seeing you know her actually give patrick the money or try to give patrick the money at the baby shower where it's like her conceding to okay like though it's hard for me though i'm struggling with the family and what my position is i'm going to accept it and i'm going to support y'all the best way i can because ultimately i feel like in this moment her family and her career are two of the only things that mary jane really feels like she has and while even they aren't perfect in reference to what she hopes for them to be they have a long way to go they are something and that's what i think that we get to see and it's just unfortunate because we get the very very quick beat that at the moment that she's trying to give him the money she realizes that he doesn't take it because ultimately he wanted the money so that he could be able to do for his daughter what she has just done for his daughter by way of getting the stroller throwing this big old baby shower and really showing up for her financially and those seeds get planted for patrick's character now before the episode ends we do see mary jane actually reconnect with david he he pops over with some chips and salsa and like look you said you know if we were going to do this booty call thing let's do it so here i am and she welcomes him in and it's almost like she's taking control so like yes she kind of will want more yes she's in a really weird space but you know she wants sex and she wants him in this way so she's going to agree to it and then this is the beat that we get to where she's actually taking his sperm from this actual interaction and freezing it and that's the pilot y'all that is the pilot like all the juice and the drama marva was given literally everything such oh such messy goodness mary jane is a beautiful mess and when this series premiered i related to her so much during the time i was like hustling to really get my website up and running i was going back and forth to new york i was working with a few magazines i was like sacrificing in some of my relationships so i could be able to hustle and make some things happen within my career and i come i just really really related to mary jane so much even though at the time she was like 10 years older than me I saw it and I was like dang is this my destiny she's a bomb chick she's a boss chick she's doing certain things but I definitely want a family I definitely want to be able to navigate differently within my family like even her position within her family I resonated with so very much I'm going into on a tangent y'all but being Mary Jane is one of my favorite series and this is also one of my favorite pilots like all American is one of my favorite pilots of all time being Mary Jane is one of my favorite pilots of all time I definitely have a few maybe I should make a video if you make it to the end of the video and you think that I should make a video talking about all of my favorite pilot episodes, let me know that in the comment section down below. I'm going to end the video here because it's getting a little bit long, but I'm coming to you with new Me and Mary Jane videos every single week. So be on the lookout for that. Hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss when I post a new Me and Mary Jane video because we're going back in time, honey, and we are going to really break down this series, the episodes, the characters, but also the themes and all of the stuff that they discuss because I do think that it was a very, very powerful show talking about things that a lot of other series weren't necessarily talking about let me know what your favorite moment scene or character is from the first episode of being mary jane and be sure to hit that like button if you're looking for something new to watch i have a few suggestions for you on screen as well it's your girl erica vane and i'm gonna see you in my next video tomorrow bye